For generations now, McDonald's has been delighting the public with their fast, tasty, and cheap food. While McDonald's has spent many years and many millions of dollars on creating the perfect family-friendly environment, sometimes things don't go to plan. As much as they try, McDonald's seems to attract some truly horrific things. With that in mind, here are our top 10 scary McDonald's stories. Some of these entries are not for the faint-hearted. Brawl for a straw. We've all had one of those days when nothing seems to go right, and all we want to make us feel better is some tasty fast food. So we go to our local McDonald's and order our favorite meal. But wait, there's no straw in the bag, and this particular McDonald's restaurant, they don't leave the straws out, and you have to ask for them at the counter. This is literally the last straw, and you snap. This is exactly what happened in a McDonald's in Florida. A male customer was told that drinking straws were only available at the counter and you have to ask for them. The man then went crazy, grabbed the 20-year-old McDonald's employee across the counter and started to attack her. The employee wasn't going to stand for it and decided to fight back. The customer was unaware that this McDonald's worker was a trained boxer and she certainly gave as good as she got. It doesn't matter what kind of day you've had or what reasons you think you have for acting this way. There is never any excuse for attacking a fast food worker or any worker in this way. Luckily, the whole thing was filmed and uploaded to YouTube so the customer could be shamed by the world. Wrong items in the bagging area. Sometimes when we wake up in the morning, we just know it's going to be a great day. We wake up with a spring in our step. The sun is shining brightly and we are ready to face whatever the world throws at us. There are occasions where the world throws all the bad things at us again and again. No matter how good we wake up, but then there are those times when everything just goes right. On those rare occasions, anything is possible. That's certainly how some McDonald's customers feel, especially when they found money in their food. In 2016, a man was eating his cheeseburger in a McDonald's in Virginia when something didn't taste right to him. He opened his burger to find a $20 dollar bill tucked inside. If you think that is lucky, then think again. Back in 2013, at a McDonald's drive through in Tennessee, a couple ordered a breakfast and to their surprise found the bag stuffed full of money. The money was actually the morning's takings for the restaurant and was on its way to the bank. However, the employee put it in the wrong bag and served it with breakfast. The McDonald's employee did quickly realize their mistake and raced after the couple. Everyone had a good laugh, but it could have been so very different. Not all extra things in a McDonald's meal are so pleasant. Over the years, there have been reports of maggots in the burger meat, chicken heads and beets in the chicken McNuggets, used and unused condoms, needles, and many other disturbing items. Line jumpers beware. There are many things that all of humanity has to endure, death, sickness, taxes, but one of the more annoying aspects of life is waiting in line. We all do it. The whole world over at one point or another will have to spend some of their life waiting in line. Whether it's for something good, like waiting to see your favorite movie, or getting your favorite food, or whether it's something bad like renewing your driving license, banking, or again, taxes. It doesn't matter what the end result is, the fact is that you'll have to wait in line with everyone else. However, sometimes there are those people that think they are above such things as waiting in line and they just don't have the time like we do, so they cut in. We all know cutting is wrong, yet some people still do it. But there are worse people than cutters. There are the violent cutters. During a busy lunch period at a McDonald's restaurant, one customer became increasingly impatient with the slow-moving line and decided to push in front of a teenage girl. When confronted about his cutting in, the man responded by punching the teenager several times before running out of the restaurant. The security camera caught the whole frightening outburst. Slip and slide. Thinking back to when we were young, there was nothing quite like going to McDonald's. Not only did we get a happy meal, after all, what could be better than food and a toy? There was also the chance to play in the play place. Slides, ball pits, and the chance to jump around and have fun with other kids. Going to McDonald's for lunch was almost like an adventurous day out. However, now we are adults and we know that the fun play places aren't exactly as innocent as they should be. 
Over the years, many McDonald's staff and parents have reported that children like to use the slide as their own personal toilet. Number ones and number twos can often be found sliding down the slide. To make things worse, it's not just children that make a mess of these play places. Teenagers and young adults like to use these areas as their very own party palaces. Used condoms, needles, bottles, bodily fluids, and yes, more feces have all been found in the ball pits. There's even been reports of rats and insects making the ball pits their home, not quite as we remember it. Glued to your seat. Pranks can be a fun and enjoyable thing. April Fool's is a popular and celebrated day after all. Whether you're a school kid or an adult, pranks can be a great way to have fun with friends. However, sometimes pranks can be bad and sometimes they can be out and out nasty. One such prank happened in a McDonald's in Devon, England. A mother took her four-year-old daughter for a nice lunch, which they had, but then came to the inevitable toilet time. As mom was finishing up her food, the young girl asked to go to the washroom by herself, which the mother saw no harm in. It was a family-friendly restaurant after all, with plenty of other kids and families about. After a while the mother started to get worried. She got up to check on her daughter and could suddenly hear screaming coming from the cubicle. Eventually, the little girl came out, crying and with her legs red and raw. Her mother, obviously concerned, asked her daughter what happened. Turns out that two teenage girls were in the cubicle before the four-year-old and they had put super glue on the toilet seat. The little girl got stuck and had to pull herself and some of her skin off the seat. A very questionable happy meal. We all know that a McDonald's meal has always been good value. After all, that's what the McDonald's principle was founded on. Good, fast, and cheap food. One of the best meals is, of course, the children's happy meal. With your choice of burgers or nuggets, fries, a drink, and the famous toy surprise, the happy meal has been a child's favorite for decades. As it's been so popular for so long, is there any way to improve the perfect meal? How about with an extra helping off a penis in your happy meal? That's exactly what happened in a Pittsburgh McDonald's in 2014. One McDonald's employee was looking to make a little extra money and started putting baggies in the Happy Meals and selling them via the drive through The idea was that the customer would drive up to the window, order a Happy Meal, asking specifically for the boys' time option, and they get their bag of illegal substances inside the box. We know that fast food workers don't make a great deal of money, so that's one way to improve your finances. The scheme was going well until one customer who asked for the boy's toy happy meal turned out to be an undercover cop and busted the whole operation. Impatience at a drive through Unfortunately, as you will see from this list of 10 scary McDonald's stories, a lot of the stories involve aggressive and confrontational people. Luckily, most of the time the situation isn't as bad as it could have been and it's more anger and frustration than anything else. Then there are those times that things could escalate but the police are on hand to quickly and quietly control the situation before it becomes fatal. So, more often than not, these issues are controlled and contained. However, what happens on those very rare occasions when the aggressive and demanding customer is the police? What do the staff and the general public do then? Well, that's exactly what happened at a McDonald's drive through in Georgia. In 2013, a high school senior was sitting in his car and patiently waiting for his order when he was cut off and heard someone screaming hurry up. Before the 18-year-old knew what was happening, a man was leaning in his car window and frantically waving a firearm in his face while shouting things like, Do you know who I am? And you don't know who you're messing with. There are some crazy people out there. Needless to say, the young man was scared to the point of blacking out. It was later revealed that the aggressive customer was a veteran cop from the DeKalb County Police Department. The police officer was later arrested and put on probation for 10 years for losing his cool. He later quit his job. Blame the employees. Being at the forefront of any service-led industry can be a difficult job especially the fast food industry. After all, you are the face of that company and you are the first contact with the public, the first line of complaints. No matter what the customer says, you have to try and keep your cool. 
Take what they have to say and get on with your work. The life of a fast food worker can sometimes be a very unpleasant one. Over the years, McDonald's has had its fair share of complaints that the workers have to deal with, whether it's the everyday mundane complaints or something much worse. In 2014, a customer pulled up to a drive through in Michigan and ordered a bacon cheeseburger, but the employees forgot the bacon. The women drove off in a huff, came back later that evening to order another bacon cheeseburger, but they forgot the bacon once more. Rather than venting her anger with the manager or on Yelp, the customer decided that shots through the window would be more effective. Luckily that time no one was hurt, but many times McDonald's employees haven't been so lucky. In a McDonald's in the Bronx, a homeless man was keeping warm in the restaurant, but after about eight hours of sitting there, a McDonald's employee tried to escort the man from the premise. The homeless man didn't take too kindly to this and took his frustration out on the employee with fatal consequences. From the Bronx to London, England, one of the biggest brawls in McDonald's history broke out in a small McDonald's in London. 200 people were involved in this mass riot and all of them were armed. Luckily no one was hurt too badly that time. There have been many incidents and even deaths involving McDonald's workers over the years. The ones listed here are some of the more famous, but they are in no way the most devastating. Canadians first. We've mentioned on this list already that McDonald's employees can get a really rough time of it. Not only are they underpaid, but they constantly have to take the aggressive backlash from the public. Not only that, but they can't retaliate if they want to keep their job, that is. And they have to do everything with a smile on their face. We've seen that sometimes the public can take out their problems on the seas workers, with fatal results in some cases. But not many people would think this would happen in Canada. In a McDonald's in Langley, B. C. Police were called out as two men were involved in heavy conflict. Unfortunately, the police were too late for one of them and many people say, the police included, that this wasn't a random attack. Another major confrontation happened in a McDonald's in Toronto. An armed security guard, who was working nearby, stopped off into a McDonald's to get some lunch when two men started a physical altercation. During the fight, the security guard's firearm was discharged and the two attackers were hit. So far, the security guard hasn't been blamed or charged for the incident. It just goes to show that anything can happen anywhere, anyone and in any country. How would you like to pay? In today's fast-moving society, technology has made life so much easier and more convenient. One of the big things to really take over in the last few years is how we pay for stuff. Gone are the days of using cash to purchase our goods. Even checks are a dusty thing of the past. We can't remember the last time we wrote a check or even saw one. Today there are so many ways to pay, from cash to credit cards which now only require a simple tap and not a pin number. Who has time to remember a four-digit number anyway? We can even use our phones and smartwatches to pay. With this plethora of ways to purchase things, you would think that there couldn't possibly be any other options. Well, you'd be wrong. At a McDonald's in Florida, a man drove up to a drive through ordered his food and then tried to pay with a bag or HMM herbal leaves. Needless to say, the McDonald's worker was surprised and refused his payment option. Only in Florida. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers, the more videos.